हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन लेट अस सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ थिन स्फेरिकल शेल ए स्फेरिकल शेल ऑफ इंटरनल डायमीटर 0.9 मीटर एंड थिकनेस 10 मिलीमीटर इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन इंटरनल प्रेशर ऑफ 1.4 मेगा पास्कल वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द इंक्रीज इन डायमीटर एंड इंक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम टेक ई इक्वल टू 2 into 10 power 5 mega pascal and Poisson's ratio 1 by 3. So this is a question of spherical pressure vessel where we have to determine the increase in diameter, the change in diameter, and change in volume. Whether the following conditions are given. What are the given? Diameter is given 0.9 meter, thickness given 10 millimeter, and the pressure applied P. Pressure applied is 1.4 mega pascal, where the modulus of elasticity is 2 into 10 power 5. This is mega pascal, mega pascal or newton per millimeter square. Both are same thing, and the Poisson's ratio is 1 by 3. So let us solve this problem. This is a question of thin spherical shell, in which we are given with the pressure, the pressure applied and internally in a spherical shell that is given with 1.4 mega pascal. and due to this pressure there is increase in diameter and increase in volume of this shell this is a spherical shell we have to find out what is the change in diameter and change in volume of this material and we are given with the modulus of elasticity of the material poisson's ratio diameter internal dia and also the thickness of this material right you should remember the formula right we are going to use directly the formula here that the hoop strain in case of spherical shells is given by pd by 4te1 minus mu right you should remember this formula very important formula and volumetric strain is three times the hoop strain right there is no longitudinal strain here only hoop strain so in all direction this is hoop strain so three times hoop strain that is the volumetric strain right from these formulas we can find out the change in dia and change in volume so let us start the question now hoop strain is given by and hoop what is hoop strain that is change in dia upon original diameter so this is change in diameter upon original diameter and that is equal to pd by 4te 1 minus mu from here we can find out the change in diameter that is equal to pd square by 4te 1 minus mu right so what will be the change in diameter then p pressure is known to us 1.4 keep it in mega pascal diameter d is given to us that is 0.9 meter uh, either keep it in uh, millimeter uh, or centimeter uh, you can keep in millimeter so 0.9 multiplied by 10 power 3 this square so this will be millimeter Divided by four times t thickness is given already in, in, in millimeter or so 10 mm multiplied by mega pascal of e two into 10 power five mega pascal so this mega pascal this mega pascal cancel out so uh, this is millimeter this is millimeter answer will come in millimeter so one minus mu mu is one by three so this is the change in diameter use these values use calculator and put these values and find out the change in diameter. i am writing directly the value the change in diameter of the spherical shell the change in diameter is given by 0.095 mm so this is the one of the answer of this question so next is the volumetric strain to find out the volumetric strain we know that volumetric strain is three times the hoop strain the three times the hoop strain so from here we can get the volumetric strain is change in volume upon volume that is three times the hoop strain hoop strain is given by uh, this equation this equation pd by pd by 4te pd by 4te 1 minus mu so from here we can get delta v change in volume will be equal to uh, volume 3 pd v by This is dv, diameter multiplied by volume, right? This is not a differentiation. This is dv, diameter multiplied by volume. This volume is multiplied here. 4te, one minus mu. 
So this is a change in volume of the material. So change in volume will be given by 3 by 4 P. P. Now P is known to us. P is known to us 1.4 multiplied by diameter. Diameter is given that is uh, 0.9. So 0.9 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by volume. What is the volume of the sphere? Volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. 4 by 3 pi r cube. So this is the volume of the sphere, right? R is 0 0.045 meter. So we can write 4 by 3. 4 by 3 pi volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. And what is R? R is 0 0.045. So R is d by 2. So this is really equal to 9 by 2, right? 0 0.045 meter. So 0 0.045 meters we can convert into millimeter. So this is 0 0.045, it is 45 basically, multiplied by 1000 Q. So this is the volume divided by, divided by 4 TE, 4 is there, T, T is 10 mm, E is modulus of elasticity, that is 2 into 10 power 5. So this much meter cube will come because we have taken here milli, millimeter cube, multiplied by 1 minus mu, this is 1 by 1, 1 minus 1 by 3. Solve it and you will get the change in volume, change in volume, I am writing here the change in volume. So change in volume will be equal to solve it and get the change in volume. What is the answer I am writing here 12029. So 12029 millimeter cube. So this is the answer of this question. One more answer of this question. So uh, what is that question? This is a thin spherical shell in which pressure is applied internally. So due to this pressure, hoop stresses will be developed in two directions and there will be change in dimensions of this spherical shell. So because there is change in dimension, so there is volumetric strain developed and as well as hoop strain developed in the material. So from formula we know that hoop strain is given by this equation. Using hoop strain we can find out because hoop strain is given by change in dia upon original dia. From here we can find out the change in dia. What is the change in dia from this hoop strain equation we can find out. Put the values and get the answer. Now next is to find out volumetric strain uh, and change in volume. So volumetric strain is 3 times the hoop strain we have already studied in our uh, theory lectures that volumetric strain is 3 times the hoop strain for spherical shells. <coughs> so volumetric strain is given by this equation 3 times of this equation. 3 times of this equation we have put here 3 times here change in volume by volume we have multiplied with volume we will get the change in volume put the values here 3 by 4 pressure diameter and volume volume, volume of the uh, sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi r cube radius radius is 0.9 by 2 this is 0 0.045 multiplied by 1000 to make it millimeter cube divided by thickness multiplied by modulus of elasticity and 4 is al uh, already there so 4 is we have already written 1 minus 1 by 3 Poisson's ratio and you have got the final value answer as 12029 millimeter cube as the answer of this question the change in volume of the spherical shell.